Josh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, firstly, how's it back being in the team? A little bit of a knock? Yeah, I um, had a bit of a groin injury and I think the older you get, I think if you miss one game, it kind of helps in the long run. So fortunately, it's a bit of recovery and a bit of rest is sorted out and felt back to normal today and a bit, a bit gutted about the result, but um, something to build on again. If we talk about the results since, since you've brought yeah. it up, uh, the first half we were, we were absolutely brilliant. I think we've just spoken to the, the gaffer and he's been speaking about you know momentum, wanting you boys to be on the front foot and, and go after what is currently the top team in the division. Yeah, I think it shows where we're at. Like you said, he's, the gaffer's big of uh, being on the front foot and I think we showed that and creating the chances we did. Um, like you said, they're a top team, so you know you come up against some great players, but I thought we, we matched them in every aspect and like I said, we're pretty unfortunate not to win in the end. What's the past week been like? Because obviously that end at Coventry was you know, brilliant, um, Hal scoring, and that seemed to really energise us going into this week of training, it seemed to build a bit of belief that you know we can pick up where we left off and, and build on that. Yeah, there's, there's been a really good feeling in the dressing room, like you said, great result with Helic scoring at the end and then kind of just been, Gaff has been drip feeding it into us, he keeps saying that it's been, it's a short turnaround for him, there's a lot of games coming up, so I think we've shown that um, we've took everything on board that he said and we keep building on each game and it's credit to us the way we, we played today really. It's an interesting one for you positionally today because I think when most people saw the team sheet they all imagined that you two will have spent more time tucked in rather than you but it, it worked out more often than not it was the other way around yeah. but you two have the ability to, to swap and, and cover each other that must be nice for you that one of you can go and one of you can stay and yeah. you've got that flexibility. Yeah I think we're both versatile in that aspect and you two showed it today I thought it was brilliant um, bombing up and down the wing and helping me out at times so I think we balanced off quite well and um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to play wherever the gaffer wants me to, so we'll see where I end up. But no, I really enjoy playing in the left of the back three. I think it's it's been something that's I've not been used to recently, but I've come into it and uh, I want to keep pushing on, really. I've enjoyed it. The way we play today as well, the fans really got behind it. They, they seemed to notice straight away what we wanted to do, how we were playing. That must be, you know, even in that rain, it must be brilliant to, to play when it feels like that in there. Yeah, I mean, the energy was amazing in the stadium. The fans were unbelievable. And, I think we knew it was going to be like that with a new gaffer um, and it always helps when we play well as well so unfortunate not to win but I think we'd, like I said we have to build on that and, and keep that momentum going really. You personally as well I think this is probably the strongest run of games you've put together for Huddersfield Town I think that's fair to say yeah. the, the confidence you've had since re-signing in the summer that seems to have really pushed you on how, how are you feeling personally? Yeah great I think on and off the pitch having a little one's helps and it kind of gives you the motivation I've had a great summer um, previously with the gaffer he had a massive belief in me and I've kind of just wanted to continue that really and uh, thankfully it's the form's kind of been there and I, I just want to keep pushing and, and not looking back just keep going forward and we don't want to be an average team we want to push higher and higher so I um, don't want a similar season to last year so yeah long may it continue that we climb the table really. Yeah we're five games unbeaten now and we've got another one against another tricky opposition in midweek uh, what are you boys going to do in between now and then? Obviously, rest and recover, and then you know try and pick up some more from the gaffer between now and that, that Tuesday night. Yeah, again, I think recover as, as well as we can over the weekend. It's a short turnaround, and back on the training pitch Monday. And, and like the gaffer always says, try and drip feed the, the information into us as quick as he can, because it's like I said, it's a quick turnaround. But just build on it, really. That's all we can do at the moment. And five games and unbeaten is incredible, really. The last thing I'll ask you is to, to be stood here and, and feeling a little bit disappointed about the fact that we've only picked up a point against it, which isn't a, a bad position. It's one of those where when we wake up tomorrow, we're probably going to feel a bit better about the game yeah. than we do right now. Yeah, I think we've, we've had some tough defeats here to Norwich. And I mean, we had we played well against uh, uh, Leicester, but I think it's a performance that we should be proud of. And like you said, to be disappointed is a credit to us, really. So it shows how far we've come. Josh, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.